December 6th, 1972. Eugene Cernan, veteran astronaut and commander of Apollo 17. He would be the last Apollo astronaut to stand on the surface of the moon. Dr. Harrison Schmidt, better known as Jack. He would be the first geologist to set foot on an alien world. Ronald Evans, command module pilot. He would remain in lunar orbit, operating a battery of experiments that would take this last close look at the moon. In the year 1675, Sir Isaac Newton was asked by his fellow scientist, Robert Hooke, how he had accomplished so much. If I have seen further, Newton wrote, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. automatic done by the sequencer. One command, pressurized the S4B stage, was not given. And despite the fact that it was going to be done manually, the sequencer, in effect, said, uh, I didn't tell you to do it, and therefore you can't be doing it. So at 30 seconds, it very properly stopped the operation. Uh, most of the work was being done right off the firing room in the launch control center at Kennedy. However, there was a great deal of support from the Marshall Space Flight Center, who had a comparable operational group working there with their contractors. So we concluded that we were safe, and we gave the word uh, to jump out to one signal and proceed, uh, which we did. After checking out the spacecraft in Earth orbit, they burned out of orbit and headed toward the moon. Houston, we're right in the middle of a snowstorm. We're not there yet. Long Ron Evans at the controls of the command module.